Hello, hello, it's Margaret Sekanet uh, here, uh, founder of Feng Shui for Health and Wealth. 2020 is, uh, is here, basically, and the uh, question is, are we prepared for what's in store for the new year of the metal rat? Uh, a lot of us would like to, of course, uh, benefit from the good energies of the year and, of course, avoid the bad ones. We had uh, uh, talk about the... Uh, the number two star in my previous video. Now let's get going with other areas in your home, other sector in your home that you have to be a little bit more careful of. And that is of course uh, where some of the afflictions are and uh, this is something that you would like to uh, pay attention to. Now on the video right now is a flying star chart that you see is for the year 2020. Let me get the video up and running and uh, I mean the chart up and running. So what you see here is the 2020 annual flying star chart for the year. And uh, as you can see here, there is uh, what I highlighted here is the number five East sector. So the number five star, which is like, uh, which is a bad luck star, is a very uh, negative star, flies into the east sector of your home this year. In the 2019, it was in the southwest sector. Now, if this is your bedroom, then by all means, find another place to sleep in. Now, this is, uh, it doesn't matter if you're uh, healthy or if you have health issues, it is best to leave this uh, area alone. So if you have, let's say, uh, a main door here, a bedroom, your, uh, your office or study, or a very active room where a lot of your family members or a lot of activity happens in this sector of the house, then please make a alternative arrangement and find out if you can actually uh, sleep in another bedroom if this is your bedroom. Uh, use another door if this is actually your main door if you have another uh, door in the house that you can actually use for entry and exit that would be great um, if you have the kitchen well of course you you know uh, have to cook on it but uh, less than the cooking maybe office of course it's easy if you have other rooms that you could actually use as an office right now and uh, you know um, this this is uh, especially uh, you know important if you're using this sector a lot of times or frequently, you know um, it must be avoided. That means you also do not disturb this area, which means that you do not uh, renovate or no digging, no uh, you know uh, how do you call this knocking down of walls. Uh, renovating anything if you do have any renovation plan for this sector or this particular area or this the room that's in this particular sector then please I uh, would recommend that you actually just postpone it uh, to another time uh, probably next year might might be a better year um, you know so uh, again um, the number five uh, yellow star flies into the east sector of the year of the metal rat so avoid this area and uh, do not disturb it do not uh, be you know uh, holding a big 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 concert or whatever you know <laughs> i mean like playing so lot of music or whatever and uh if it's impossible to do that then uh you know it's it's really something that you might not want to do you might want to consider so this is just uh, something that you have to work with uh, we're just reminding you that this is uh, you know an area that you want to avoid now what kind of uh, alternative method can you use to counter or lessen the negative effect of the energies of this sector now the number five, uh, the number five is an earth element. So again, we can counter this uh, negative energy by uh, using metal objects, uh, objects uh, made of bronze, silver, copper. So weights can actually be used. Um, and uh, aside from not using the, the area, uh, we can make use of 
uh, mitigating some of this negative er energy by just uh, putting metal objects in that area. So you might also like to use still water. Um, one of the other alternative is some people have actually used salt water cures and can actually be helpful to also counter the negative effect of this number five and uh, also the number two stars that I mentioned before in my previous uh, video. So these are two things that you can do uh, with uh, the East sector at this time uh, where the number five flies into. And uh, another thing that I would also like to mention is the fact that um, your natal chart has, uh, like this is the natal chart of an individual, which we, uh, this person is bo was born in the year of the pig, in the month of the tiger, in the day of the monkey, and in the hour of the horse. So this is a Batsu chart. It's a, a Chinese a type of astrology. So this year the rat uh, sits in the north sector which is also in direct conflict with the horse. So anybody who has a horse like in this chart uh, this person has a horse in their hour uh, pillar. So you have four pillars here and each pillar stands for uh, you know part of your natal chart the year the month the day and the hour. So this person has a horse in his or her natal chart and uh, that being the case I would be a, uh, it would be wise to be a little bit more careful especially um, when you're using the the east and the, and the south sector like uh, for the number two star which is which happens to be in the east uh, in the south sector this year and the number five uh, star which is in the uh, east sector so we don't just have one animal sign in our natal chart. We do, we can have four different animals uh, signs in our natal chart, or we can even just have one. So I, I have seen a chart which just have one natal, uh, one animal sign all throughout for all the four pillars. So again, um, this is a 2020 annual flying star chart. There are, of course, other stars um, that flies into the different sectors of uh, your home this year. You have the number two illness star that flew, that flies into the south sector this year. The number five, which we just uh, discussed here, that uh, is now in the, that flies into the number, uh, into the east sector of your home. Again, if you have main doors, bedrooms, office in this sector, please, Find out if you could actually uh, not use them, uh, move to another room, a spare room or something like that. And uh, if you can't, then mitigate the negative energy by using metal objects to counter the uh, earth element of the number five. Um, for those of you who actually know the, the five elements and they're productive, destructive, or, you know, and uh, counter uh, effect. Um, cycle will actually know why we should be using the metal objects as uh, something to mitigate the negative energy of the number five. <clears throat> so there are other important afflictions to watch out for. The, we also have the Grand Duke that, uh, that flies into the North Sector as of this uh, year. So you have also the Three Killings, the Year Breaker. So these are some of the other um, negative uh, stars that are, are present in the year and uh, hopefully my uh, upcoming videos um, will be able to uh, I will be able to share with you some of these other um, stars and where they are located this year and how to kind of mitigate them or what to do and of course there are also the positive stars I would like to probably share with you for those of you guys out there who would like to find your Valentine or who uh, you know are having a bit difficulty in the romance area I'd like to just point out to you in my video one of my upcoming video a sector that you could actually enhance to help you in that area of your life
okay so anyway this is Margaret seconded and uh, hope you have uh, how do you call this you have uh, uh, learned a little bit about the number five star and uh, don't stress yourself out too much sometimes uh, you have permanent structures in your home that cannot be uh, mitigated or you can't change I know I have some question uh, some people have asked me if they have something that's permanently there or they're renting or they live in an apartment then definitely just make uh, the most of the other stars the, the good stars hopefully you'll be able to uh, you know make the most of the stars and where they're located okay so you have uh, you know, we, we don't only have negative star we do have the positive stars also for this year and uh, you know what we can do is actually use those sectors so we could actually kind of balance out the negative energies if we actually use some of the uh, sectors that has them okay so you know we'll be coming out with more short uh, more videos shortly so hopefully you're subscribed to our YouTube channel for up-to-date notification and like our Facebook follow us on our fa Facebook on Feng Shui for Health and Wealth and uh, and thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you again so bye bye for now